So I've covered a couple more Vista Entertainment films to this point, and I would say based on the ones I've seen so far, we just looked at Psycho Granny, and Psycho Granny was a nice departure in that it didn't really flow into the theme of the rest of the films that I've experienced with this studio. But here we go back again with the same old, same old, same old theme at this point, at least the one I'm most familiar with with their stuff, and that is a girl meets a bad guy that she doesn't know is a bad guy and finds out later, usually too late. <laughs> but here we go with another one of these films. Another one, it seems to be quite a number that we have to look at tonight, that much more than I thought. Web of Lies. This one has a unique twist, though, with, um, I'd say this, not twist, I'd say, um, this unique attribute to it, where it's talking about social media, or it's bringing in social media influencing, like, hmm, this could be quite, it, it, it definitely makes it feel different from the other ones. So, let's take a look and see how this movie is, first with its synopsis, and then, of course, with its trailer, and the synopsis is coming straight from IMDb. Whitney, a social media influencer, moves back to her hometown in Boston to start a new chapter in her life. She has a blossoming career and an attractive next-door neighbor, Mike, but Whitney's sister is suspicious of Mike's erratic behavior. When someone tries to sabotage Whitney's career and her, si her sister suddenly goes missing, Whitney must determine if Mike is truly the man she's falling for, or if he's hiding a dark secret. See? Same old, same old, same old. <laughs> but... It does have that nice little social media twist, like maybe he's like, oh, ooh, he gets you know, that uh, green-eyed monster comes in and be like, ooh, you know, Whitney, she's got all those social media followers. If only I could have them. Seems that's where probably, uh, that's just my inference for where they're going with this. But let's take a look at the trailer and see if that is the case. But again, at this point, I will throw out the disclaimer that these trailers, for the most part, do dissatisfy me. Occasionally, they're okay, but... Still, their most number one egregious offense every single time, save for the last time of Psycho Granny, at least from my impression, is that they keep spoiling their movies. So hopefully, this is a really long trailer too. I didn't even see the length of this trailer at three minutes. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee at this point they're going to they're gonna spoil some twist of the movie. <sighs> it's a disappointment. Let's see. Maybe they won't. But again, I'm not trying to get my hopes up at this point because we're now... Four for four. At this point, unless I'm forgetting more and more Vista Entertainment Productions. And they keep spoiling their movies. Okay, so I'm expecting this to be a very common thing now. Without further ado, we'll watch this first. We'll talk about it more about condensed yourself while watching the video together. I mean, do you know how dissatisfying it is to watch a movie where it's like you already know what's going to happen? It's like, you feel like that, that whole point is lost. And it's like, the, the, the big twist is such a critical element to the film. You don't think you'd reveal that in the trailer. But I guess more Vista, you know, wants to remain very specific when it comes to the number of distributors out there be like well you know we reveal our secrets it's like that's not really helping you okay <laughs> it sets you apart but not in a good way all right okay here we go here we are thanks for talking me into coming back home it looks like every ever tv movie i've seen so far from them you turned your head a little bit to be honest the Although the styling of the, the hair and the makeup makes it look a little more expensive. Say hello to Mike. Hello, Mike. That's when you know immediately a, a romance Hi. blossoms. Like, oh, ooh, guy with hats out my window. <laughs> you don't remember me. Mowing the lawn, I see. We see? Did? Can I ask you just know. Brought you back home? My parents. I don't know, I just felt guilty that I wasn't here when they died. Not a lot of people see this part of me. Uh oh. Hmm. You have a lovely home, Whitney. I'm sorry, what was your handle again? Your hair is so. I need to try. Ah! Ah! I don't ever want to see you near her again. You understand me? Something tells me you've had a past experience with this person. I've seen Whitney Big Fan's post. They're. That you know them. Disturbing, right? It comes from being an internet celebrity. Grab some dinner? I really want to, but I have this thing with Lucas tonight. Should I be jealous? <laughs> no, it's strictly professional. What's up, guys? We got some really exciting news coming for you guys over the next few days. But uh oh. We cannot say anything yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just with him last night. Okay, Whitney, you want proof? I'll get you proof. The other night at the party, why'd you sneak in? Somebody paid me to go to cause a scene. Was there him? I think I know who it was. Fan? Be a good neighbor. Is that all you're trying to be? 
Good neighbor with abs. <laughs> I don't think this is a recent obsession. Sometimes who you see out your window isn't always the best person. Which I pretty much could tell at this point because it's a Marvel Vista movie. <laughs> you to come back here so that I could rekindle what I know that you felt deep down. And when sending you photos didn't work, I... See, this is too much. A little more drastically. Oh. I'm truly sorry about oh. your parents, but you gave me no choice. Well, end of the movie. Why do they keep doing this? It just drives me crazy. Oh, man. It's like, you. I was like, okay, it's intriguing, you know, being somebody who's at least in the social media influencing atmosphere. It, I'm very familiar with it, obviously, right? It sounded very entertaining. It was like, oh, like a horror type thriller. Not, I'd say horror, but a thriller movie here. You know, when things go awry and you're following, sometimes people can become quite obsessive. You know, this is a common thing these days that, People often see people on social media and they, they develop, you know, they're obviously huge fans, right? But sometimes those huge fans go a little too far. It seems in this case, well, there's yeah, a caveat that he's her neighbor. <laughs> Which, again, at this point, you know, you, you see that trope. It's like, oh, there's a guy out there working outside. Usually will walk out, they got their shirt off, and it's like, oh, there are the abs. And the ladies are in the windows like, hmm. <laughs> Is he dating material? Grab your, your grab your checklist and critique it. <laughs> or actually, the new kid's just like, hmm, guy with abs. Bang it, and he will go to the front door. Yeah. She probably should have stayed inside at that point and not gone out, because then, you, you know, she didn't know who, was she, who she was um developing a relationship with. I was trying to get a fitting pun, but I couldn't think of it on the top of my head. But yeah, I pretty much could tell like right off the bat, like this guy that comes in, it, like, like chill, dude. It's like don't touch her hair. It's like personal space here. I mean, it, it may teach him about space bubble, but then you're like, hmm, why is this guy so touchy with her? Or with not her, with him. Um, it's like why is he so aggressive? And the way he was saying that line and looking at the guy is like, mm, you seem a bit like you're overacting here. There's some drama thrown in. It's not like an authentic reaction, like, don't you ever do that. You know, be a nice guy. Don't touch girls like that. It's very inappropriate. Um, yeah, know your place, but it didn't feel like that. It felt more like grandstanding, like, don't you dare do that again. You're like, I see some things aren't consistent here. But again, it's just so dissatisfying at this point with Mar Vista Entertainment, because this movie looks great. And but you get to the end, you're like, well, end of the movie, the guy dies. Okay, you know, girl's safe, he heroic moment, the end. It's like, that's not, <laughs> it's not what I want to see, you know, just with a trailer. Make me want to see your movie. You're not doing that. You keep spoiling it. That's like, you know, watching a trailer, I'm like, I've already seen the movie, but... <sighs> Someday they will learn their lesson. Maybe, maybe they'll see one of my videos and realize this is getting really irritating at this point. I mean, we can laugh about it, obviously, but at the same time, it's just, why do they keep doing it? <laughs> okay, but anyways, what did you think of Web of Lies? Did you like that whole social media influencer attribute thrown in? I thought it was pretty unique, but then again... Marvista just ruined it for me. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I mean, if it just worked for the way they spoiled the movie at the end, it would be a perfect trailer because it was great. But, ah, not at this point. But anyways, don't forget all the good stuff with liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell. And of course, we have a couple more Marvista films to look at tonight. And I'm assuming based on the way it's going so far, unless it's another Psycho Granny, that they will not learn their lesson. That they'll keep spoiling their movies. <laughs> But we shall see. It'll be a guessing game, I guess, every single time at this point. But if we get to watch Never Mar Vista trailer together in the next video, or if we happen to you know, just watch a movie from a different distribution company that keeps some things under wraps, <laughs> I will see you guys in whatever video that is. But until that time, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget yourselves, your fellow man. God bless and peace.